Good morning, everybody. Happy Easter. Peter's got coffee going. I am going to do a Ryan household tradition and make blueberry muffins this morning. We'll have our eggs and blueberry muffins for breakfast, so. It's just Peter and I, so hopefully we'll be able to down 12 muffins, but you can't have Easter morning without muffins, right Eve? That would be a blast for me. Easter too. Happy Easter. He's gonna go edit his Park Hopper podcast. I'm gonna do this, and we'll probably cross paths, and I'll switch on, and I'll edit the vlog. Um, we're just gonna have a relaxing morning at home. We are gonna go to Magic Kingdom. Um, today, we know it's probably gonna be crazy, but we've never been here for Easter. We've never seen their parade. So we're gonna probably just braid the crowds and hang out on Main Street. Muffins. They look extra good. This is an Easter interruption because the Buckleys family posted their new vlog after the little, the little hiatus from uh, Kelly being born. I'm excited but nervous. It's a 10 minute birth story. Welcome their son. It's going to be awesome. This is Buckleys family, but at the same time, sometimes watching new baby stuff like baby announcements and baby births can be hard for us because of what we're going through, but we're still happy for everybody. Yeah. And we're so excited to watch this because They're we love- They're usually longer, I hope it's I good. know, I thought it was gonna be longer. So we're gonna watch this and then get back to Easter. <laughs> I was expecting to have to like- Look at that. All about present, can I have two please? Sure. We only had uh, Valentine's Day. Uh. <laughs> but there's still love. Spring, Jesus, happiness. Okay, what color do you want? I want a red one. I'm nervous that these aren't gonna peel good. Let's. So we'll do it off cam just to, just to be safe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Peter once told me, this is my favorite reason for having a wedding ring. To crack an egg open. Did I say that? Yes. I don't even remember saying you that. Did. And it was started within the last three years. Yes. Wow. Here's oh. our finished plate. I got two muffins and a hard boiled egg and a pupper. He wants it. They they peel pretty good. Yeah, they did. You just look so glorious. I don't do butter on mine. I'm, I know it's like blasphemy. Or is it just overkill on my end? We have like two things that we watch on Easter, Ten Commandments, which I think we're going to watch later. Yeah, we'll do that when we come back from the Magic Kingdom. Um, we had Easter Parade on earlier, but uh, just the music, because I realized I didn't have it on DVD, but that is one of our favorites. But I have made watching Gone with the Wind a tradition. Um, we have a couple of things on YouTube we're going to get caught up on, but then we'll watch that, edit the vlog, and just relax, right? Yeah. Well, we have a, an Easter update. 10.38 in the morning. We've just found our second B of the day. E found the first by the window. And we went in our second bedroom to get some of our pots and pans because you know, our kitchen's displaced into our second bedroom. And I noticed one, I was just looking at the window because like, I wouldn't mind to see a few more if I can see where they're coming in from because our maintenance guys like, they're coming in through the AC vents so they put screens in the AC vents. But, they could also be coming in, I think they could be coming in through like the drop ceiling lights because 
tarp? There's one on the tarp? Yeah. They are just raging on. Ooh, two lizards just attack each other. Ah, they're flying over here. What do we do? We swim. Swim. <laughs> swim. Yes! She killed two more today. Our count is up to eight this morning. Since 10 30. I don't, I'm not like a, a botanist isn't the word, right? I'm not a bee professional, I'm not an anything professional, but I've watched enough Netflix to know and Discovery Channel and Animal Planet, I like to know that like they go to sleep at night, they wake up during the day. Literally 10, 15 comes, the sun hits, gets above our like side buildings here to hit our building, and within 10 minutes there were six in our apartment. Ah! This has been a strange Easter. Last thing we showed was the bees outside, right? And before that was breakfast. We're getting dinner ready, and we're not, usually we do like, we usually have ham, and yeah. pasta, and all this other delicious dinner food. Yeah, we usually have a lot, it's like, the ham, well we do like ham for breakfast, but we do the blueberry muffins, so we kind of like chose our favorite. So, mm -hmm. we did the blueberry muffins for breakfast, and hard boiled eggs, and then our other two favorite things that we do is like our pasta with bread sauce, like our family recipe, and then cheesy potatoes, so we're going to do those two things for dinner, and a salad. Um. It's kind of messy, but you can show them the sauce. Yeah, the so well, the sauce is messy. Like, that's a but good it's okay. sauce when it's been cooking and reducing and split splatting everywhere. Like, that's a sign of a good homemade red sauce. Vlog is finally uploading. Like, I feel like they've just been like, we've had a crazy couple days because I feel like our vlogs are usually up before noon. And the past couple days they haven't been because we've had stuff going on. But it, today's a bigger one. It's 17 minutes. I can't wait to watch it because Sarah's been was editing it and I was kind of on the bee hunt and keeping Eve occupied and doing some other stuff. It's been a crazy Easter, but a fun one, right? Yeah. Now we're pretty much gonna relax for us tonight because we can't leave because the bees have been like kind of showing themselves like, what'd you say, two for every hour? Yeah, but like kind of slower now. They've gotten slowed down. I also read online that sometimes when you have a, a hive and it gets big enough, a swarm of bees will like leave and try to go find another place to start a new hive. And where they're at on the balcony, like I saw a couple, but like this morning, as you saw in the clip just now, like they were swarming and digging in there. And sometimes they kind of like take, like get a feel for it. They hang out there for a day or two and they might leave if they don't think it's gonna be a good enough home for a new hive. So maybe they're leaving, but I already emailed like our manager, like the community director of our apartment complex, because I felt like like not too much was done by our management here at the, at the apartment. Like I know it was a holiday weekend and then, so we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go to work tomorrow though, um, because supposedly some company might be coming out to like relocate the bees, which means it could be like tearing apart the wall and balcony and if the what bees are in the walls, we need to be here for Eve and for our property. Here's what Easter dinner looks like. Pasta, which we call Ronis, and some homemade Roni sauce, sausage, meat, mm -hmm. baked potato, tomato salad, a little Easter bunny, and a cold cup of joe from this morning. Cold! Just call me uh, like a 70, what do you think, 77 or 78 years old? 77. 77 years old. So, I'm about to do my duty to this right here. We left the house. We're at a twisty. We're at a twisty treat like we're trying to be like we're in uh, the Florida Project. And Madonna is playing and Eve is here. We had to get some, we had to get some fresh air. We were getting so crazy and the bees didn't go to sleep at night so. I, Sarah got a banana split and I got, I got a cheesecake malt. Look at these fancy yellow bricks. And here's the menu for twisted Twisty treat. Let me know if you have one of these by you. I don't know if they're, I've never seen them before we moved here. I didn't even see them during our college program. Let me know if you have these where you live down below. But it looks good. Okay, things got crazy. It started raining. Um, This is a shake. I don't know what, the, what a malt is, but this tastes the exact same as a shake. Whoa. <laughs> oh no. Sarah got a banana split. Look at this thing. How? We might just need to go home. And we've got Eve with us. We were trying He's to have so like a fun excited. little, fun little like daily adventure, but it's raining. Because like we could have been outside and she could have been like playing around, and we could have been like up high, away from her. 
Um, this looks delicious though. It's a full banana. Here, you hold that. Please let me know what a malt is down below. This tastes just like a shake, but it's good. It's cheesecake ice cream. I know what a malt is. I thought I did too. Is it like that SpongeBob flavor? Like spongy flavor? Yeah. I like. I think I taste it. Eve, what are you doing? I think it's we just go home. Yeah. Close it up. Pretend like it's not there. Alright. <laughs> Time to go home. We're home. We're home. Did you just hear Eve? I don't know if we got on the vlog, but Eve's really jealous that Sarah's eating something and Eve doesn't get to eat it. She's like, oh. So, my problem with shakes, everybody, is I eat quickly. I eat lots. And my problem is, like, I have to physically stop myself from eating my shake because I'll literally drink it in like three swigs. Three slugs. You gotta This is a meal. This is a meal. That is like sci-fi diner. Why do we connect everything to Disney? I don't know, but we're just wired that way. So literally, we decided our night was going to consist of watching the Bucketless family all night. We had that little moment just now with Eve, and I was trying to get on camera what she does. We call that her running lap. So you saw like one angle of her. You guys see her? No, she's it really wears her out. This is she's. I don't know what the best way to describe her is, but like she does that for like five minutes, and it completely wears her out to the point of exhaustion. But when she does it, she runs the lap so quick. She hits this wall to turn, but she can't, like the chair gets in her way, but she doesn't stop. She literally runs and smashes in the wall. But more importantly, I wanted to show you, Sarah, and the camera. I... You got rug burn? I got rug burn on that knee, and I got even worse rug burn on that knee. Like, that's, this one's gonna scab. Price you pay to have a little pop. I'll do it a million times for her because it's so fun when she runs laps, especially because she gets zonked. Legs right now, I'm like... Those are po post running laps legs. Well, it is late. Sarah fell asleep like two hours ago. She was like, I don't want to go to bed yet because I don't want the weekend to be over, but I think I need a nap. And I'm like, sweetie, that's called, that's called sleeping. Like. Sarah's notorious for trying to take a nap and then just like being out the rest of the night. And funny enough, right when she did, Eve kind of like gave me like a sassy look and then walked away. And she's been asleep now too. So I still have been keeping up this bucket list binge. Um, but I wanted to thank you guys for still following along with today's probably with the most relaxed day other than the bees. Like the dozen or so bees that we saw today. Other than that, it was probably like one of the most relaxed days. There wasn't like, we haven't really just stayed home just to stay home. Like we've stayed home because of things like Sarah's surgery, because of a hurricane. Um, and even there, we were limited. Like we were like, the second we could leave, we're out. Um, but today, and I know today we didn't leave because the bees, we didn't want to leave bees and Eve and come back and there'd be like 75 bees everywhere. But we could have taken Eve out like we did yesterday, like we did for like five minutes for the ice cream. Um, but for the most part, we were just kind of like, we did have a very productive first half of the day. We just kind of hung out, so that was fun. Um, watched a lot of YouTube, caught up on a lot of things, just kind of hung out with each other. And Eve, Eve was cuddly all day. And we appreciate you guys still sticking around for those days. I know a lot of you like, tell us how you like those kind of vlogs and and uh, how we deserve those kind of days. So we appreciate it and we, this is our way of celebrating Easter. We really do plan on being in Chicago for Easter's, but it just wasn't in the books this year with time off, financially timing, with other things, like it just wasn't happening. So we did want, we did wish we were in Chicago. Um, I think I'm gonna sign off. I had the episode of the Bucket List on where Garrett, the, the dad, says his top five favorite movies and he is 
and I said this in the vlog a couple days ago, one of the few people in the world who actually has, that I've heard of who has seen, and not only has seen, but loves the movie About Time. Go look it up. Go watch it. It's beautiful. That's all I got. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.